is there a use for the for the uh, mannequin in BLS training settings? And if we do use the mannequin in BLS training settings, will it make a difference in practice and the National Registry? I'm Dan Limmer here at the CAE booth, and this is the new Aries mannequin. Right now, I've got this mannequin set to breathe about 16 times a minute with a pretty voluminous tidal volume, about 600. Um, mls of air and you can see the chest rise. Now a lot of times when we do simulations we think about the whole simulation from start to finish. We run an entire thing but I think there are small pieces of information that will make a difference especially in BLS training. You've got a 20 or 24 uh, person paramedic cohort but we have other sections of EMT classes that we're probably not using the mannequin enough for. Bring your students into the simulation lab, into the, into the mannequin and have them look at this breathing right here and then have them talk to you about it, have them describe it with words, and have them write it down. Words like chest expansion, deep, adequate are really important words. They will see normal breathing. But I can take, and I can very easily take this respiratory rate, I can bring it down. I'm going to bring it down to about six times a minute. And I'm going to bring the tidal volume down to about 200. So we know that with dead space, there's really not much air getting down to the alveoli. Now we have a mannequin that's barely breathing. Now, the mannequin's eyes have closed in response to the fact, physiologically it's changed, that the mannequin is sick. Now have the students feel the chest of the mannequin. Have them watch the mannequin. Have them describe to you as the educator and have them document the words that describe the breathing. What are those words? It's shallow, it's inadequate, uh, dying. There might be all kinds of words that the students use. Now, what we've done for the students with this very simple exercise that would be relatively easy to run individual students or small groups of students through, we've shown them the difference between adequate breathing, between normal breathing and respiratory failure. We've had an opportunity to talk about the role of dead air space in this, and we've taught them words that will help them on the National Registry, things like shallow, dying, not enough, wow, and they put this together, and I really believe that just with short segments like this, that we have the ability to use some of these uh, mannequins, some of these amazing mannequins, to be able to give our students those insights that we can't give them when they're just doing vital signs on other students in class. I'd encourage you to think about how to use your simulation in not only in your ALS classes, but your BLS classes as well. I'm Dan Limmer. I'm going to come back uh, again and talk to you more about using mannequins in your BLS classes.